Hello, I'm Orbeta, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to my Falcon X, my take on what SpaceX would build if they were to build a space plane by two booster jets that will get it out of the atmosphere and then return to land themselves. This thing is almost totally reusable, except for the pylons which connect the three craft together. I've been planning a build like this for a while and it's only now that I've gotten used to space planes to a degree that I think that I can successfully undertake this mission to get this into orbit and then return it safely. The idea behind this design is to build something that will launch up which will separate, it will be a bit more efficient than an SSTO but still totally reusable. I've designed this with six Raper engines on the two booster jets. This will be able to get up to altitude and up to speed to be the most efficient for the Rapier engines and that will mostly get it into space. However, we still need the extra boost from the rocket engines which are on the main space plane and a little help from the Nerf engines. But once it's out to the atmosphere, the idea that it'll have a lot more Delta V for the size of craft that we're sending up. Whether I have achieved in making this more efficient than an SSTO of a similar size, I don't know, but I thought this was a good exercise and it'll prove a point. I think with design re refinement, I think this will work. Now, if SpaceX were really doing this, I think what they would do is what we're doing by here. They'd get up to a higher altitude and they'd thrust as fast as possible, trying to get out of the atmosphere and near as close to the orbital speeds as possible without burning up or disintegrating the aircraft. And when their jet engines are deprived of oxygen, then they'll probably pull up and engage the rocket engines, as we are doing by here. So you see, I've engaged the rocket engines and engaged the Nerf engines, and as soon as the two booster jets have run out of rocket fuel, they'll disengage, fall down and return back for landing which is what we'll do here. For this separation, I'm using a mod called FMRS, which is Flight Manager for a Reusable Stage, as I believe it's called. And here we are. We're going to try to land this one. If I can select it, for some reason it used one of the pylons as the main part when I separated. So after a bit of searching, here we are. Okay, we're still good over one kilometer per second. But a quick slowdown in the atmosphere, we dip down. And since we're close to the next continent, I've decided we'll land here somewhere. This would be the most efficient landing area, I believe, for a mission like this. It took us for about uh, six, maybe seven minutes by the time we landed to get here. That is a quick flight going about almost a quarter way around the Caribbean. What I wasn't sure of, though, is could I return this craft back to the KRC and land it on the landing strip. So I decided on the other booster jet, what we'll do is we'll try and return that to the Kerbal Space Center. But first off, let's land this on this continent over here. Now, what would be good is if we had a flat area to land this. And I'm not being me, I'm good at engineering stuff, but not good at fall forward planning. So I found the <laughs> nearest thing to the flattest area that we could land on. Oh, it looked flat when I passed overhead and decided to land here and realizing that uh, it's actually quite a bit of a slope. However, we do survive and this is unheard of. We landed safely. And this jet actually works quite great. Now let's see in the other jet if we can get return that back to the Kerbal Space Center. Now, being KSP and doing multiple saves, obviously things go wrong and obviously we lost control by here. This didn't happen in the uh, the separation, as you probably saw when, when the two crafts separated from the main craft. They just glided down safely. And that's what I believe it would do properly, but however, since this is KSP and a few little miscalculations on the reload, didn't work. Anyway, this is the second attempt of trying to return this to the Kerbal Space Center. First off, I tried a low altitude going at a high speed, but that did not work. So what I had to do is get to a higher altitude of just over 10 kilometers and then boost as fast as possible. Now, this used all the fuel up. However, 
as you can see we're making it towards the runway now we've got enough altitude which is what you should do if you're returning back for a landing the KSC to get high enough altitude if you're gonna overshoot make sure you overshoot the KSC at a very high altitude that way you can turn around and land the other way on the strip but being as I'm trying to mimic SpaceX I decided what we'll do is we'll land from the ocean direction that way you're not flying over populated areas and then you would be quite safe but epic we have succeeded in landing the booster rocket however we still got one mission to do and that is to get our Falcon X into orbit around Kirby anyway I've made this a simple test mission where all I have to do is get this into orbit launch the space probe that we have in the cargo bay and then land this back at the KSC the idea behind this mission is to be able to see if we can get this into orbit and if so that means we can design this to be a bit more efficient get this further out or perhaps we can re-engineer this so that instead of a space plane we're launching into orbit we can launch an, a rocket into orbit using the two booster jets to get the rocket up into orbit or out into space personally I think a rocket will be a bit more efficient that way we'll be able to stage that rocket land the larger portion of the rocket after it gets into orbit hopefully that'll be able to mean that we can put a larger payload up into orbit now this is just a test so this thing can actually launch like larger into orbit than this in fact what you could do is replace that cargo bay with an extra tank that means this space plane will be able to go further afield so now that we have successfully launched the satellite into orbit the satellite can go on its way into a geostationary orbit around Kerbin we could return the space X no the Falcon X yes SpaceX Falcon X <laughs> Now, as you can see, we've targeted the islands off the coast of KFC, KS, Kerbal Space Center, KSC, not KFC. I think I'm hungry, and that's why I'm thinking of KFC. Now, with it, this design, I still have to pump the fuel forward to make sure it doesn't flip out. Not that it, uh, you can't regain control of this, but it does make this a lot more stable when returning through the atmosphere and it makes it a lot easier to glide as well as some of you astute chaos peers probably have noticed I have a RCS tank at the front of this space plane that's just to make sure that the weight never gets behind the center of lift and totally flip out of control when we're coming in for landing as you can see it's trying to flip out of control for some reason it uh, tries to flip out but obviously because the center of weight, center of mass is for, far forward it's impossible for it to happen so we keep control now as you can see we're passing over the KF KFC and the KSC <laughs> this is on purpose this is actually the second landing that I'm doing the first one we approached we landed on the strip from over the mountains and then landed but I had decided that in true fashion of safety for the Kerbals and the uh, KFC we will land our our craft from the ocean that way if we if something goes wrong if we're unable to land then we can ditch ourselves into the ocean the Kerbals will I well I don't know if they'd survive a jump from there they do have their parachutes in this version of Kerbal Space Program, but uh, at least we won't crash into any cities or any towns or perhaps even in the Kerbal Space Center itself. You may have noticed with this design, we seem to slow down quite quickly. Now, unless we keep our descent profile just right, we will go beyond below the stall speed, which I think I've, I've judged it about 100 meters per second. I know it's a bit lower than that, but coming in for approach, I think it's best to keep it as close to 100 as possible. When we come closer enough with that extra speed, then we'll be able to glide and then land on the landing strip. 
so there you go this is my falcon x my spacex inspired space plane let me know what you think guys hit the like button if you liked it hit the dislike if you didn't like it i'm orbiter trust me i'm an engineer